affordable finds, some beauty products that I'm interested in, a few affordable things that I've picked up, and my 2024 beauty and fashion New Year's resolution. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura, and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So here we are again with my tea and my pajamas. You guys, it's a laid back video for the rest of the year. It's this video and next video, and we are chilling. It's been a long year, it's the end of the year, and I am tired. Anybody else? So if you are not new here, you know that I love a good purse from high to low. And we've talked about many like smaller designer purses. If you've been with me for a while, I've talked about I Need My Iris. I have found a lot of smaller purse brands um, and brought them to your attention as they were brought to mind. I recently came across this brand and I thought it was very interesting. The name of this brand is called Classic Cloth and there's something so unique about a few of these purses that I feel like more people should be aware of. Them. The shape of this purse is something that you don't usually see, right? If you look at it, it's all in a circle, but then the part that is a flap is halfway through. It's just I feel like it's very innovative and I really love this. It comes in two sizes and it is leather. Two different sizes, a few different colors, and I feel like this is so interesting. You also have something called a phone case purse, which is also really cute and very intriguing. The Ruthie special occasion purse is perfect for New Year's, just for having very beautiful nighttime purses in your collection. This bronze is beautiful. This beautiful sparkly black and silver one, just perfection in my opinion. And like any good purse brand, there are options that are more functional, like this tote. And then you have something that's a little more interesting, very sleek, and so glamorous. Now, I like the leopard and the black version of this, but there are so many different colors, and I believe that there are two sizes. The idea that the handle is in the middle of the bag, as opposed to the sides to hold it this way, is just different, and I like that it's different. And though I don't know how it will be, I don't know, I've never tried it, but I do 100% love the look of this purse. And like I said, the leopard and black are definitely my favorite side of her purses which i think are very innovative she also has clothing one thing that stood out to me is this beautiful lounge set besides the color because if you're not new here you know that i love a beautiful rich jewel tone this looks so luxurious and if you are lounging in this whether it's to run to target to the corner store or just around your house you are feeling fabulous i think this is such a fabulous option. And though it is categorized as a lounge set, this can be dressed down, separated. You could really get very creative with this whole outfit. I saw this hat on someone and immediately had to investigate. While I am 100% um, aware that this hat will not be for everyone, there is a subset of fashion girls that are going to love this hat. When I saw this on social media, I knew I had to do some digging. This is an embroidered New York Yankees cap. And if you are from here, or if you're just from a cold climate, or if you are a trendy girl, you, you know that baseball caps or fitteds, whatever you want to call them, I mean, I know they're different, but you know what I mean. They are very trendy right now, and honestly have saved my hair <laughs> from many bad hair days. If you are the kind of girl that is cool girl but also a little glam i feel like this hat would work out perfectly you have the new york yankee variation um but they also have washington so you have your options i love the way that this person styled it it's very young very fresh very right now even with what i believe is a branded blackwood bag i feel like that's brandon blackwood but the whole thing honestly is very east coast very new york and maybe that's why i love it but if you are the cool girl that is a little glam I, I think someone described it as like tomboy glam you know what i mean you will absolutely love this hat but most of this video is just me going through 
the tabs that I have open in my phone. You guys, I have 400 and something tabs open in my phone of things I want to show you and talk about. And we're not doing it in this video because I'm tired. <laughs> I said that to say that these Hanifa sandals have been on one of my tabs for a while and I wanted to show you. There's something so fashion but also something so delicate about these silver heels. I think they are so beautiful. They are simple and they are very on trend. I love these. Um, I have another pair or I have a pair of Hanifa silver mules and those bad boys are very high <laughs> but they are very very pretty and also very good quality. So I can't attest for the quality of Hanifa shoes but I don't have these and I love the metallic i told you guys metallic we're still doing that and yeah i just wanted to show you guys just in case you haven't seen them i might be a little late though i might be a little late so as you're watching this right now or when i put it up it will be christmas eve and if you are a shopper or if you're a fashion person or if you've been watching me for a while you know that after christmas is the best time to shop for sales so i'm showing you a few things things from and other stories that are not on sale right now but they will be soon and there are actually a few things that i am showing you so next week's video is going to be the sale stuff that i found and you guys there's, there's going to be a lot <laughs> i feel like you can't go wrong with black and white on those days that you just can't you just don't have it in you to put a whole outfit together a black and white striped sweater it's classic it's beautiful throw it on with a pair of jeans whatever your prefer pair of jeans are or a black skirt, whatever, you really cannot go wrong with this sweater. And then this wool jacket, I think is so good. It's probably better suited for the fall, depending on where you live. But I do like the cut of this jacket for many reasons. It's also mostly wool, which is so hard to find nowadays when you're looking for a wool coat and it says like polyester and 2% wool, it's, it's very frustrating, but this, is still mostly wool. This shirt, I don't remember if I showed you this shirt before. You guys, if I'm re-showing you some things, please forgive me. Like I said, it's end of the year and I'm tired. <laughs> okay, but I do love the asymmetrical off the shoulder shirt. It can be worn now and it definitely can be worn in the spring. And though this shirt has a lot going on with the balloon sleeves and the darting in front um, that's held together by buttons. There's something very uniquely classic about this shirt. Like the darting and the sleeves may go out of style, but if this is your style, it will always work. I don't know if that makes sense or if I'm explaining that correctly. <laughs> but if this is your style, you get what I'm saying. For the longest time, I said that I didn't like the baggy jeans or the wide leg jeans. I feel like I recently discovered that the reason why I didn't like them is because of the way I looked in them at the time. And now that I have changed and my body is changing, I feel better in them. Um, they're still not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie to you, but they are slowly growing on me. I say all that to say that these look very interesting to me. I'm not saying I'm gonna get them, but I do feel like these would work and look good on somebody with a great outfit. Maybe like a like a black faux fur, some cool aviators, and a little kitten heel, and like a top handle bag or a crossbody bag. I feel like this could really work and look excellent. These big old statement earrings stop me in my tracks. I think they are absolutely fabulous. If there's one thing that I love, it's a good piece of jewelry, whether it's diamonds or necklaces or or gold or um costume jewelry i just think it's all pretty so these are a statement maker and i think that they are fabulous and like we talked about in the last video mixed metals are a thing they have some options these earrings and also these earrings are fabulous options for those of us who are really loving the mixed metal trend they even have this ring that is half gold half silver just to make it easy i know that we have been told for so many years not to mix gold and silver but they're making it super duper easy and i think that it is fabulous this braided denim oversized bag i think is another great option if denim is part of your style and you will always be wearing it and even if it's really not and you want to play around with the trend i think this is a good way to ease yourself into it and not spend too much money. All of us will like the embroidered Yankee hat and some of us would like this um, leather, all leather black cap, which I personally love. Wearing a hat, a baseball hat, has saved me so much with my hair. I know I keep saying it. There's something so sleek about a baseball cap in leather 
worn with some really big, bold, beautiful statement earrings. It just makes you look a little more together when your hair is not working. So I love this option. And then these leather pants, which are fabulous. Um, but I will say that a really good way to get some really quality leather pants is at thrift stores. Leather pants and leather jackets are very plentiful in a lot of thrift stores. So if you're looking for a leather pair of pants, I know a lot of the sizes were sold out here. Um, you could find them more than likely at a thrift store and they're definitely gonna be cheaper than what this is. First of all, I wanna say that I went to Mango to look for some really fashion forward and some really trendy clothing for extended sizes and the options were abysmal. I don't really understand why they can't make the same clothing and maybe because I'm not in that industry, I don't know. But why can't you make the same clothing just in a different size? I, I mean, the options were absolutely horrifying, if I'm being honest. So if you are a person that's in need of extended sizing, give me some time. I'm looking for some better options. I've been having a harder and harder time um, finding things for each kind of style category, whether you're the cool girl or the glam girl. Just give me some time to kind of figure that out. But I thought that this sweater was cute. If you feel comfortable with your midsection, which I do not, but I do love the shape of it. Um, and I love the black and white stripes and the gold buttons. I think it's a beautiful option. And then this purse would be great for the holidays and great for New Year's. Um, and if you're just a glam person that loves sparkly things, but this is a really good dupe for the Kate bag that's probably three, four, five thousand dollars, right? It's not exactly the same, but it is a very good dupe. So again, if you're not new here, you know that I love some pajamas and I love silky, satiny things that make me feel comfortable at home or silky, satiny shirts that I like to wear outside. It's just very, um, it's very glamorous to me, which I really love, right? So I've recently been looking at Intermissor Me which I don't usually shop at, but I found some really beautiful um, PJs that I wanna show you. So this first one is so delicate, so dainty, so pretty, so me. Now you will probably never see me in this because I will never get on the internet with something like this to do a video. <laughs> Maybe like talking in a video, but not like a sit down video. I love the color of this. I love the shape of this. This is perfect for the summer um, and it's 100% silk. It comes in many colors. This color is definitely my favorite. They also have this in a top um, and bottom, like a tank top and a pair of shorts in this color. But they also have the tank top and shorts in what they're calling orange, but looks more like a rust to me, which I absolutely love. They have some things that are on sale, like the red um, and this blue that are on sale, much cheaper. Still really good quality because it's the same thing. And of course they have a beautiful robe to go with it. We are in for the long winter. The winter is almost here. I believe it starts today. It starts today, the day I'm filming. Um, and we're gonna be home and indoors and I always like to feel comfortable. And I've told you guys this many times. And Injured Mr. Me will be getting an order for me. So yeah, like I said, there wasn't a ton of things that I was gonna show you today. I'm tired. I'm doing a laid back video, but I did want to show you a few things. So as you know, I have been kind of clearing out my makeup and beauty really kind of, not start over, but to get to things that I really love and just sift through the things that have just been sitting on my vanity. However, there are some things, and this is what gets me in trouble. There are some things that I'm interested in and I would love to know your opinion on a few. If there's one thing that I don't need is another fragrance. However, Tom Ford Vanilla Sex just sounds like something I at least need to smell. I, I don't know why they're doing this to me. <laughs> I don't need it. It's expensive. Tom Ford is notorious for not always lasting with some of his fragrances. And I cannot attest to that. The Tom Ford that I have lasts fine. Mm, well, except for Lost Cherry. Lost Cherry is kind of eh. But just, I'm not saying that I'm going to get it, but I am definitely interested. Though I have said that I'm only really using about two foundations, the NARS foundation and the Haas Labs foundation, I have been looking 
at this Pat McGrath for so long and I've heard great things about it and I don't need it right now, but I do kind of want to experiment with it. You guys remember pre-pandemic when Sephora would give you a little foundation samples? I would love for that to happen again, just so that I can try this. I don't know if I want to buy a whole bottle just to try, but what is your experience with the found this foundation? I really want to try it. I'm definitely, definitely interested. I have nothing from Melanin hair care and I have never tried it and I'm not quite sure why. I have followed Whitney since the beginning of time, <laughs> since before she had a baby and her hair is beautiful. So I'm not quite sure why I haven't tried this, but I am interested in one of these or all of them um, just to see what happens. Staying on the topic of hair, I have heard great things about the Kenra brand. I was not 100% sure, but then I had to look for Kenra on type 4 hair and I found many examples, particularly this blow dry spray I would love to try um, and I think I'm going to. So a long time ago when I was doing my Nordstrom recommendations, I was talking about a red light therapy mask and I couldn't tell you if red light was just an next gimmick or if it really helped. Um, but I have been doing some research and I'm still not 100% sure, but I'm so interested in using one of the red light therapy mask. They get very expensive, um, like up to $2,000. These are like three or four. But yeah, I've seen a lot of different ones. I am definitely interested in trying one. If you have experience with these or this or anything like this, let me know. I have a new flat iron on the way. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I was talking about how raggedy my flat iron was. I'm finally getting one and I will show you which one I end up getting. Um, but I'm also looking for a new curling iron and I've heard decent things about this T3. Um, I'm not quite sure if I need this one or if there's other options. If you have this, I would love to know your opinion. If you have this and another one, let me know what you think is better, but I am looking for a new curling iron. I love the Rare Beauty um, liquid blushes, and I am interested in this line that they have for the body care. Not for any other particular reason, and this might be silly, but no other particular reason than the packaging is cute. So I know that's silly, <laughs> but I definitely want to try it. I think it's just so pretty, and I'm one of those people that they really get me, guys. They get me with packaging every single time. If you tried any of these, let me know. So again, yeah, I've heard good things about the Dior concealer as well. I have exclusively used NARS concealer for as long as I can remember. And I will always have the NARS concealer in my makeup stash, but I also want to start to try other ones. So let me know what you think about the Dior concealer and if you think there's a better one that I should try. Is there anything on your wish list or anything that you would like to try in 2024? Please give me some ideas, not that I need any, <laughs> but let me know what you're interested in trying. I ordered this coat for mango. It was on sale, it was affordable, it's luxurious and glamorous, and I wanted to at least see how it would look on me. And they were having a sale in which I had to spend a certain amount to get free shipping. So I said, oh, what the heck? I'll spend a little extra, get the free shipping, and I bought a few pair of earrings as well. Lo and behold, Mango emails me, and the coat is out of stock, but I still have these pairs of earrings <laughs> that are actually quite cute. So I want to show you a few pair of earrings that I got from Mango, not on purpose, and a new coat that I got from Naked Fashion. So the first pair of earrings I'm kind of racking up back because I'm not quite sure what I was thinking. Maybe perhaps I was going to a ball. So <laughs> when I got these earrings, um, and maybe I'll just wear them on New Year's Eve, no matter what I do. But I love a sparkly pair of earrings. I want to try these on, right? But look how sparkly they are. So the first ones I got were these. Let me try them on. Let me see how they look. I don't know where I'm going, but these are fabulous. I don't, 
maybe I just wanted something shiny. I have no, I had no reason to buy these, but look how pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but you always need a pair of over the top, <laughs> pretty shiny chandelier earrings. And they're making, oh, I don't know. I don't know, I love them. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll just wear them on New Year's Eve or Christmas day just because. I think they're fabulous. These are definitely on trend, like that um, that old school 90s bold earrings trend, and I love these. And again, of course, I got them in gold because I really love gold and they work well for me. So let me try these on and let me show you how they look on. So yeah, this is just very much on trend, a nice everyday bold gold earring. Um, not add anything too extra, but yeah, I like them. I could definitely see myself wearing these. Um, just on every day and I do think they're cute. Did I need them? No, but I probably have bought them if I wasn't getting the jacket Probably not. But now that I have them, I don't feel the need to send them back I think that I like them and the last pair I got are also gold I actually saw these on somebody um, on TikTok and when I went to get them initially they were sold out so I said this is my time to shine and I am going to buy these. So let's see how these look. So yeah, these are a similar to something that I already have. They are definitely cute. Definitely something you can wear every day. Um, not a need, right? But I do think they're really adorable. My favorite, believe it or not, out of these three are probably these obnoxious earrings. I have no need to wear them, but sometimes you just want to be sparkly and I guess... <laughs> I guess this would be my opportunity. All these three earrings that I got are from Mango. And now let me show you the coat that I got from Naked Fashion. So last time I tried on some coats, I was in my pajamas. And you guys were like, seriously, sis, put on some clothes. <laughs> so this time I took anything, I put anything on just to get you or to give you a more of an idea of how this coat actually is. This coat is from Naked Fashion. It is not an expensive coat by any means. It probably cost me a hundred and something dollars. But I figured at this point that I had spent my coat budget for the winter what I have now is just what I have now I'm not buying anything new in fact in a few weeks it will be time to start looking for spring and summer clothes that's just how it works right this one is very similar to the white one from last time and it looks oversized as opposed to it looking like it doesn't fit the white coat that I had last time just looked too big and this one instead of looking too big looks like it's intentionally oversized I did need a brown coat I don't have or I didn't have anything that was softer than black so I didn't need to get something a little softer and yeah this is my coat from Naked Fashion and I am done don't quote me but I feel like I'm done for the winter well I am not one for New Year's resolutions Every year I just decide to try to do better. I put some goals in there and um, in my head and, and try to work out how I'm going to reach those goals. So I'm not really one for New Year's resolutions. However, <laughs> this year there are a few beauty and fashion resolutions that I do think that I want to make. So last year there are a few things that I wanted to just kind of tackle from as far as beauty and fashion is concerned and I feel like I did that I'm still um, losing weight and I'm still um, kind of honing in on my style and all that good stuff everything I said I wanted to do last year as far as beauty and fashion is concerned I did this year, I want to continue doing those things that I do, um, but I want to get a little more specific. Firstly, I really want to play more with my hair. Now, when I mean play, I don't mean play in my hair because the health of my hair is very important, right? But I want to learn how to do my hair better. Anything besides a ponytail and some curls would really be good. <laughs> Maybe I can learn how to do a sew-in. Maybe I can learn just more. Go to the school of YouTube and practice, practice, practice so that I could do more with my hair. I will be going to some professionals because I need that as well, but I want to be able to do my hair. And honestly, I want to be able to save some money if I can. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so I do have some things coming in the mail. I told you I got a flat iron that I want to show you guys and just some other ideas. But learning to do my hair, playing with it a little bit, and just being different in 2024 is one of my goals. Now that I'm on the right track as far as dropping some pounds, I still have more to go. I definitely want to work on building some muscle. You guys, I was going to the gym at one point twice a day and lifting weights and I got no muscles. I don't have a mus or a cull <laughs> to show for it. No muscles anywhere. So I really need to either enlist the help of a professional or do more research. I don't need to look like a bodybuilder, but I do need some muscles. My um, my arms are flabby. <laughs> I mean, and before it gets too out of hand, I want to tighten it up. So yeah, that's another kind of beauty, maybe a little vain vanity thing that I want to take care of. But I do want to get a bit of muscle. Let's see how that works out. Let's see if I can stick to that. I am good enough at my makeup to get me through the week um, and to work where people are like, oh yeah, she looks pretty. Her makeup looks great, right? I want to be able to beat my face. Now, I am not a huge makeup person in that I love to wear a whole bunch of makeup. In fact, wearing layers of makeup kind of annoys me, <laughs> but I wouldn't be able to do it so that I'm able to do it in the right situations. When I look at somebody like Lisa Eldridge or Jackie Ina, the way they apply their makeup is so strategic and just well placed and I want to learn to do that. Now, I can do that by going to the School of YouTube, but I'm also thinking about maybe perhaps taking a class um, just to get me on my way. I wouldn't be able to do my makeup, like like do it, do it, right? So I will be trying to like put that within my content, like maybe take you to a makeup class or something that I've learned, something like that. Same thing with my hair, to show you my process of learning how to do my hair. And you know, you know, just the, the glow up this year, the glow up. So we will see how that works out. This year, I also want to expand my fashion knowledge. I have told you many times before that I consider myself a student of fashion. I've gone to school formally for fashion. I've gotten a degree and I've also studied very much on my own weekly just to learn and be immersed in something that I love. So I want to continue to do that. Um, there's a few books that I want to read and kind of think about it from a different way and a different perspective and kind of grow on that, whether it's style, whether it's the social and economic impact of fashion. There's so much more to learn and I cannot wait to do it this year. And the last one is not necessarily fashion or beauty, but it definitely ties in. I say to myself things that I would never say to other people. This year, I want to be kinder to myself, be easier on myself, and be less of a perfectionist when it comes to fashion and beauty and just myself in general. I can't tell you how many times I didn't want to put up a video because my hair didn't look a certain way or my shirt wasn't falling properly. I need to be kinder to myself. And though that might sound crazy, you guys, I am a perfectionist <laughs> and it gets to be exhausting. So while I am slowly ripping myself away from being a perfectionist, I also need to learn how to be kinder to myself. Anyway, friends, though this video was a bit different and probably a little shorter than usual, um, it's still jam-packed with all the things that we love. And if you are watching this on Christmas Eve, if you celebrate Merry Christmas. I hope that you have a great time with your family, your friends, or even by yourself. Anyway, friends, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in my next video.